Hi guys, uh, welcome back. So here we are. Went up to Aintree last Friday. It's uh, Tuesday now, Tuesday the 14th of February. Valentine's Day. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, have a great day. So we went up, um, got to Aintree Boats and met the guys, Jamie, Mark and uh, Dave. <coughs> Uh, all very friendly. Dave showed us around the workshop, which is really interesting. And uh, we met uh, we met Gladys at last. She's uh, she's been moved outside now. Now that they've completed the shell and um, put primer paint on, and also she's uh, she's got her windows fitted and the spray insulation inside. Uh, she'll stay outside now until uh, the fit out. Uh, uh, phase begins um, that's basically they'll take it back indoors and uh, complete all the inside of the boat that takes about eight weeks I think so optimistic that uh, it'll all be done ready by uh, by the summer and uh, we'll be afloat then really good visit hope you enjoy the videos and the photos uh, uh, of Gladys we uh, stayed the night and the next day we went into Liverpool and had a tour of the Liver building, which is, I thoroughly recommend that. A uh, really good guide took us almost to the very top. And we uh, came very close to the two Liver bird statues. Uh, one of them looks over the River Mersey and that's called Bella. And the other one looks in the other direction and that's called Bertie. Really good uh, tour. Again, Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it if you're in Liverpool. We then went down to the museum, which is very close by, had a little look around there, and then something to eat in the in the museum's restaurant, which uh, which again was very good. Uh, before we came, before we came back home, so it was a really good visit. Um, it's great to see Gladys at last. I hope you're going to enjoy seeing her. What you can expect from uh, from me next. Well, yesterday I walked the Brecon and Momishram Brecon Canal again on for the second walk. Um, and I'll be probably releasing that video next week. In the meantime, I'm still quite busy building my second Holzhausen. So um, those of you who like Holzhausens might appreciate that this one's slightly bigger and um, might enjoy seeing that when that's completed. Uh, it's certainly taken an awful lot of wood. So I'm keeping busy. And on top of that, I've actually got some paid work to do next week, which uh, is a bit of a nuisance, but on the other hand, you know, you've got to do these things, haven't you? So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoy this video. As usual, do please make a comment whether it's good, whether it's bad, let me know what you think and, and subscribe to the channel if, if you feel so inclined. So that's it. Uh, look after yourselves, take care, stay well and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.
They're about 14 feet by 3 feet. And the clock itself is actually made up of 27 different parts. So it's a mixture of steel and glass. Now the people who made our clocks, that was a company called Gent & Co. Now, they were based in Leicester and they primarily made railway clocks. So that is why around certain old railway stations in the UK you would see a very similar design on their clock front. We're obviously looking at it on a much larger scale here today. But to kind of give you an idea of scale in terms of how big it actually is, if you have a look at our lectern here, you'll see a picture of the company using the clock face as a dinner table at one of their gala events. So there's around 40 people sat around there, all talking about clocks and things, I imagine. Corner to just one of our old emblems here when the city first began. But whether he's mixed that design with a griffin or a phoenix or even an eagle, I think is up for debate. When you look at our birds, they look almost prehistoric in appearance, with that long neck and long beak as well. So I think it's drawn influence from many different aspects of the design. It is, however, a bit of a sad story about Carl. So four years after the bears were made, the First World War broke out. And due to ill feelings around German people at the time, Carl was actually sent to an interview.